we obviously played really well. And I thought everybody responded very, very well in that game. Um, even at, towards the end of the first half when Kansas made a little run at us to cut it at halftime. Um, guys just, you know, grouped together at halftime and uh, really answered the challenge uh, coming out of halftime, scoring the first six points and bumping that lead back up. In the last two games, especially the second half, defensive numbers have been very good. Is that wearing teams down? Is that the intensity? What it was? I think it's a combination of the both. Um, you know, part of this, you know, platoon system, um, you see as it goes, the number that you go along, and we, we keep score. We have a scoring breakdown of each segment, if you want to call it that. And you can see where it, you do start to get in their legs. Um, you know, so it's something that the guys know we chart. Uh, it's important, especially on the defensive end. With our length and our athletic ability, there's no reason why we can't be a really good defensive team because of our size. And size with athleticism equals, you know, it can be a problem for, for an opponent. And, and that's what it was. So we can pressure the ball a little bit more. We're doing a much better job of guarding the dribble. Um, it's a little bit easier for us with bigger teams. You get into the, the exhibition games and, you know, some of your, you know, other uh, non-conference games where you have small lineups, it's pretty tough for a 6'10", 7-footer to keep in front of 5'11", 6 feet. Um, but we still we, we have a game plan, and the guys are doing really well with it. John Aaron said that uh, you guys are emphasizing more this year, getting out on the three-point shooters for the <laughs> other team. What, what, why? What, what's the difference? Well, I mean, we're so big that if – we can keep them off the foul line and keep them off the three-point line. It's going to be tough to score. Um, I mean, somebody's going to, you know, teams are going to come in with the theory that we have to beat them from the three-point line. Uh, if we can do a good job of that uh, and make them drive into our bigs, um, we like what our bigs do defensively, and uh, it's an important stat. We just can't give away free points from the three-point line. Each game, we've gotten better of defending straight line drives. And that was the best we've done in three games. So from the first game of Grand Canyon until uh, yesterday's, uh, the Kansas game, we've gotten better each and every game. That you, you have to keep building on what we did. Uh, I thought our communication was really, really good um, in the Kansas game. Uh, they followed the game plan perfectly. Um, they paid attention to detail. Uh, in you know a quick turnaround time, that's like an NCAA tournament time turnaround. Uh, so I was pleased with that, um, and I just think getting better. Uh, the score might not be indicative of getting better, uh, but we can see it as coaches. Um, but the first step to that is today's practice, and uh, you know just just carrying on the things that we think we need improvement in. What child, What can you describe that challenge, John? Of having the players reach ever higher when they just beat the number five team by 32 points? We're not expecting to be perfect right now. We don't expect to be at our peak right now. Uh, obviously, we're happy where we are. Um, we want to peak in you know February. Um, and we're, we're striving for that. It's, it's a thing where these kids got to understand where we are right now and what they have to do individually and what we have to do as a team to keep coming together as a unit to uh, perform. Is there something you, you, try, you try to tell them to make that point with them? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I understand what you're saying, but again, 32-point win. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the score was the score. I mean, I think it had a lot. I think, I mean, very happy with our defense. Um, we made them take tough shots. We blocked 11 shots. Um, we didn't. We need to get better offensively, for sure. Um, we have to get out and transition a little bit more. Um, you know, the message for these guys is just we. Each and every day, we have to get better at what we need to do as a team, uh, whether it's defensively or offensively. And if we do that. We know that we're going to give it our best effort when we go out there, you know, and hopefully, you know, tomorrow it shows improvement for us. And that's why I said earlier, the score may not be indicative of, of did we get better, but in our eyes, 
did we see it, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll see tomorrow.